So today, I'm going to talk to you, to a little chit chat ramble here and there as I make my rounds. And I'm not going to put no sweetness on it because I can't. Because for 2019, God has snatched the band aid off of me, scared the Kazibis kazibis out of me. And I had to be faced with some things. I was sad about it for a little while. But now I understand why it had to be done. It just had to be done. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All on us. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. It's <laughs> gonna be rough. All on us. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it. it. Hey y'all. Hello, hello. Good morning. Mm-hmm. It's morning and I'm surprised I'm out the house. I haven't done not one thing um that would really um be on board with what I had planned to do today. Nadine went to run a Sally's and there's a couple of things that we got to pick up from the grocery store. <laughs> now, the first thing I want to just get out the way is I want to say happy birthday to Alan Cruz. No, let me get it right. It's Alan Cruz. Happy birthday. I, I saw your message. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Being a spirit of light, I appreciate you. And happy birthday to all the December babies. And yeah, and tomorrow I believe it's my uncle's birthday, so happy birthday, Uncle Keith. Yeah. How was y'all Christmas? <laughs> Tell me all about it in the comments. Let me know how y'all did, what went on. Even if you didn't celebrate Christmas, how was your day yesterday? Today is the day after Christmas for me. Um You know, we don't do the gifty thing. Um, we don't really buy gifts for Christmas. We, we, we have never really done that. We just kind of like do the family thing, the love thing. Um, and cook and stuff like that. Yesterday was really nice. It was a nice day. I got to read a lot of my comments from you all. Thank you so much. I just want to send out a special big love, big hug, kisses, love to all of my supporters. I love you guys. I love everyone who who's in support of ASMR to spirit. Thank you. Those that leave me comments, that's not malice. That's all about love. That's not hateful. And basically trying to tell me all. <laughs> Thank you for leaving comments that encourage me, inspire me, and uplift me. Yes, I'm going to tell you. I was telling my daughter yesterday and again this morning. And I'm going to tell you because I I know someone out there that need this message right now. And I'm going to give it to you. If you're dealing with anyone, I don't care if it's your mammy, your pappy, your sister, your brother, a cousin, a friend, a relative, a neighbor, a lover, an associate, a side chick, a side man, you know, a booty call. I don't care what it is. If a person do not uplift you, encourage you, and inspire you, be done. Be done with them. Because they're not good for your spirit, your soul, and they don't deserve your time. Okay? I don't care who they are. People have a tendency to easily 
bring a person's spirits down. And they can do it immediately in a conversation. And you don't be expecting it. But you know how you feel after you don't talk to them. You know how they left you. And, and it's awkward because you be wondering like, okay, what was that about? And you still try because of the person you are. And you may keep your composure. And, and maybe you're the type of person that may say, okay, what's this about? What's going on? Why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? In my opinion, some people don't even have the deserving right for you to even ask them anything. Just be done with them. Be done with them. There's a way that you can associate yourself with people if you want to stay in their life, but not allow them to disencourage you, to uninspire you, and to bring you down. Not allow them to do that. Because people have a tendency, because things are not all that great in their life, and maybe things are going well, because things can be going well for them, but they're not grateful. They don't have no gratitude for all that's happening for them. They're just focused on the fact. They don't like the fact that you are okay and that you're feeling okay and that you seem to be happy. You seem to be okay. Not everybody is happy all the time. Everybody go through their thing, you know. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I got my cute little skull cap on today. <laughs> Keep looking at myself because I feel like I look like my dad. Rest in peace. I miss my dad. I look like him. Oh, my God. I look just like him right now. <laughs> yes, I look just like that man. But I just want to tell you, they're not happy that the fact that you're okay with your life. Sometimes people... May not be happy all the time, but they know that they go through up and down, that sometimes they feel great and sometimes they feel a little low, but they're getting on with their life and they're getting on their life without you. Mm -hmm. They're getting on with their life without you. Okay. Um, there are people out there that's not, they don't ask nobody for anything and um, they're making it with or without whatever they have or don't have at that moment they're making it and then you got people who see oh they ain't asking for nothing they're not complaining about nothing they're not crying about nothing they're not singing their life is over oh I got something for them let me call do -do 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 and you answer and you like hey how you doing I'm like, oh, I'm great. I'm doing good. Well, how are you? How's everything? Everything is good. Duh, 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 duh. And then all of a sudden, they ask you a question. And it's about you. And you say, ah, 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 blah, 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 that, 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 that. And they get quiet. And they say, well, um. Uh, uh, well, what about this? And you said, bah, bah, da, 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 da. Oh, well, I was really like asking about that. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. Well, what do you mean? No matter what answer you give them, it's not good enough because it's not what they want to hear. They don't want to hear that you got this plan. You got this going on for yourself. You're going to do this. They don't want to hear none of that. They want to hear, oh, nothing's working out. I'm so sad. I'm so freaking depressed. I'm all the freaking pieces. <laughs> I'm laughing. They want to hear all of that. Okay. That's what they want to hear. And then you kind of feel yourself in this awkward space with them because you know that they just tore down, tore down your feelings, tore down the things that you had to say. 
the things that you're talking about, the things that you're planning, they just tore it down. They know that they just tore it down. So now you're sitting there and you're saying, well, you know what? I'm going to talk to you later. And then you get off the phone and you start feeling bad. That's that, that's that taking your energy, bringing you down type of mess. You know what I'm saying? So for 2020, we're going to go into 2020 with being inspired, uplifting, and encouraged. Not only are you going to do that for other people, but other people are going to do that for you. And if they don't, they're being left in 2019. Okay. So today, I'm going to talk to you. Do a little chit chat ramble here and there as I make my rounds. And I'm not going to put no sweetness on it because I can't. Because for 2019, God has snatched the band aid off of me, scared the Kazibis. The Kazibis out of me. And I had to be faced with some things. I was sad about it for a little while. But now I understand why it had to be done. It just had to be done. So today, I'm just going to say some things. <laughs> I'm going to say some things, Okay. People have a hard time. Why? Why? Why do people have a hard time with just saying I'm sorry? And not just saying it because they know you want to hear it, but say it because they know that they done wrong. People know they done wrong. And you have gotten to a point in space. I'm going to talk about myself at this moment. And if you can relate to it and you can get something out of it, I'm happy for you. Not happy that you can relate to it, but you can get something out of it and take from it and do better by yourself. People do things. And time go by. And, and as time go by, instead of when they contact you or when you connect again, they say, you know what? I was wrong. I was sorry how I treated you. I was sorry how things went down and I miss you. And I want to reconnect with you. People can't do that. People can't do that. They just want to jump right back into maybe where you left off, which is wasn't a, a, in a good space with them. But they want to jump back in when you was okay with them before the not the so good space came and and just you're supposed to be okay with whatever they have done to you now i'm not saying hold the grudge because for myself i actually am in a space where i want good things to happen for you especially if you're sending out good things so the good things could come back your way that's for anybody but I'm also in a space of acceptance. Once a person let me know that they're not into my life or into me, that they don't want nothing to do with me, or um, they don't want me in their space, point blank. They don't want me in their space. I have came to a point of acceptance and being okay with it. And, and I have moved on with my life. Not that I'm moving it on and keeping it moving. I have moved on with my life. And not saying that I, I don't want to reconnect or be connected to people because that's not true. But I am not going to enable 
or allow people to treat me bad anymore. Now, they can say what they want about me. And they can do what they want. But I don't have to participate. And I'm saying the same thing for you. You do not have to participate in people who are not going to take responsibility and accountability for the wrong that they do. For the wrong that they do when they know they so wrong. Okay? All right? That's one. Now, the other thing, and this is really, really important. Love yourself first, because then you can love others. And when you love yourself enough, when someone come and try to take your energy and bring you down, the love that you have for yourself will help you overcome that, will help up bring your spirits again, will remind you of how important and how much of a beautiful spirit and person that you are. And just because they feel a certain way don't mean you have to take that on. This is very important. You do not have to take on anybody's bullish. You just don't. People have a tendency of saying things that they know that's going to hurt another person feeling and they keep doing it. They do it because they want you to take it on. They want you to suck it in and then they don't want to feel bad about yourself. And sometimes I feel like people call them or they get in a contact with you because you feeling like, yeah, oh, this is so nice. They just want to be, you know, back in contact, want to be friendly, want to be nice. Or maybe they never lost contact with you. But then when they call you, they say things, they even lie on you. Sometimes lie on you. And I give you an example. They'll say something like, you always doing a certain thing and you know that you don't do something. But they say that. And you're like, huh? I don't do that. And then they never once, never once, um, ask you, Anything about like how what's going on with you as far as like how you doing? I'm gonna use myself as an example. How you feeling? How you been maintaining? What's going on with you know your health? What's going on with your bone disease? How are you dealing with the pain? How have you been sleeping? How are you mentally handling things? Don't care. They don't want to know. All they want to know, all they want is for you to know how everything is going in their life. And then they load everything on you. They load it all on you. And you uplift, encourage, inspire them. And the whole time he was on the phone, you, you did not get uplifted. You did not get inspired. You did not get encouraged. But you gave out so much of your energy to them. Okay? Love is a two-way street. You give and you take. You receive love, you give love, okay? You don't take, 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 take. I know that's a lot. I know that's a lot, but it had to be said because you need to know this. Going into 2020, we're going in stronger than we were in 2019. We're going in better than we were in 2019. Better by to ourselves, by ourselves, better. Not by yourself like alone, but being better to yourself, period, okay? That way you can be better to other people. I know that's a lot, I know. But it's a girl I had to tell you. My stomach is growling this morning. I'm really hungry. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Yesterday, after I got up, I was putting up uh, a video. I took a shower. I got dressed. I came out, ding, 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 to go get the rest of the stuff we needed for the Christmas dinner. Lord and behold, everything was closed. Everything. We even went online to check the hours that stuff was staying open. Uh uh-uh. uh. When we got there, they had different hours taped to the door. Okay. We missed everything. And um, 
We ended up at Walgreens and we bought some eggs and we bought some cheese. And I was able to, and they didn't have no butter. I said, oh my God, what am I going to do? Okay. But a while ago, I had bought this butter called olive avocado butter, you know, made out of olive oil and avocado. And I never used it. I used it. I made mac and cheese. My mac and cheese came out great. But that was the only dish that we did have. And I used gluten-free noodles. Okay. Turned out to be really delicious. Really delicious. I used those top stuffing. I think it's progressive um, breadcrumbs. Italian herbs breadcrumbs. And the gluten-free noodles. The, the eggs. And the craft cheese. It came out delicious, okay? And I was shocked. I said, wow, okay. I'm glad I tried that that butter because it's a no, more healthier choice. So I'm going to get me some more when I get a chance. Uh, yep. Instead of buying um, the other type of butter that I buy, I'm going to change my butter. Who knew? Who knew I would like <laughs> the healthier choice, okay? Now... Spirit is making a few changes. And this is personal. My changes that I'm making is very personal for myself. Okay? So I'm going to let you know right now. If the comments are not uplifting, encouraging, inspiring... Not only am I deleting you, I'm blocking you. <laughs> and you can be mad. Oof. And you can be mad. Scratch your right A. Okay? <laughs> I don't care. Be mad. Because life happens. Changes happen. People change. People change. Every three months, people are changing. I'm one of them people. I'm changing. And some stuff I'm not changing, but I'm making a different choice. I'm making a different choice because I feel good about it. And I feel like it's about that time to change some stuff up. And that's what Spirit Girl is doing. And some people may not agree. And I'm okay with that. But remind you that I created my channel for people who want to be on this journey with me, who enjoy my content, who enjoy me as a person. I didn't create, create my channel for any type of negative energy, period. So if you're a part of that, yeah. If you show up, you know that snake starts... You, the head get cut off. You got to go. I'm sorry. Now, I have some fabulous news. Fabulous news. You're not going to believe it. You ready? Drum roll. Da -da 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 Hand clap. I spoke to my grandkids. Yeah, I did. I had a nice long conversation with my oldest granddaughter and a short conversation with my youngest granddaughter, but I got to speak to them. And it was absolutely the best Christmas ever. 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 Also, I have so many family members that has contacted me over the Christmas holiday. And that's how I was. Wow. I was like, oh my God. I was smiling like, oh my God, this is nice. I was very happy about it. Okay. So I just wanted to let y'all know that. <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord, for 2020. That was nice. I had family members contact me. And I, I responded. I responded. Some of them just got a text. Some of them talked to me on the phone. You know. Some of them I had long conversations with, and some of them I just listened to, and some of them I just got off the phone like, 
We not doing this. <laughs> we not doing this. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm leaving your butt in 2019. I ain't got time for it. Okay. Me and Nadine was both shocked at how much, how many people contacted us more than last year. I was like, wow, that's amazing. But 2019 is leaving us. It will be the thing of a past in a few days. Ooh. Oh, my stomach's a thing of the past. Your hungriness in a few hours. Oh my God, a couple of hours. I'm starving. Yesterday, when I made this macaroni and cheese for me and my family, it was a small dish because I had to use what I have, you know. I didn't, I didn't cook anything else. I made um, vanilla cupcakes with no icing. It was really, really good. And I tried it with the healthy butter. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe how good it was. It was good. My son gave me a big kiss. He said, thank you, Mom, for making something to eat. This is nice. <laughs> and Nadine was like, wow, Mom, this is delicious. I said, oh, I'm so glad everything, like whatever I could cook, my kids enjoyed it. But we didn't have a big Christmas dinner because we missed all the stores. It was shocking. We went to like so many stores. But let me tell you where I ended up at. I went to Wendy's. I was just going to get fried salad for all of us. Nothing. Because we didn't have nothing to eat that night either. You know, Christmas Eve. Wendy's had clothes. I was so sad. They was out there washing the windows, child. They was like, oh, we closed. I said, okay. Went to McDonald's. Ooh, McDonald's let every employee off. I mean, off. They were gone. Nowhere in sight. Gone. I was like, wow. Okay. Rolled down. Tried to find a couple of... Nothing. Nothing open. So on the way home, we saw um, Domino's was open. Amazing. Nadine got out the car. She ran inside to get us the um, Mediterranean sandwiches. She got three Mediterranean sandwiches and um, cinnamon rolls. When she got inside, I was thinking they was going to say they closed. And the guy said, oh, you're so lucky. You're the very last customer. Boy, we ain't never been so happy. We ain't never appreciate Domino's in our life. Domino's stayed open. I think when we left there, it was like almost 9 o'clock. They stayed open till 9 o'clock. And I'm going to tell you what. I have a, a new found... Like, I always kind of like Domino's. I like Pizza Hut, too. And I like pepperonis. I like little seizures. And then I like CC's, okay? I have, like, love. A special love for each one. But I got to give Domino's their props. I got to give them their props. I'm going to tell you what they did, y'all. It was so amazing. It was so sad that everything was closed yesterday for Christmas. Everybody kept pulling up, pulling up. Domino's was the only, only place open. And they locked the doors. The young man came to the door. And the people say, I guess one person said, I just want a cheese pizza. He said, well, hold on. Let me see if we got one. He went to the back, came back, got the person's credit card, rung them up, brought them back their receipt so they could sign it outside, and got cheese pizza. It was like, oh, that's nice. That's nice. At least they got, because they, they closed. You know what I'm saying? Nothing open, nothing. Everything dead zone closed. And then a lady pulled up with her daughter, and she looking in the window. She waving and waving. The young boy come back out. He, she tell him what she wanted. He take her credit card, go in there, bring it up, bring it back out. And then another person pulled up and he waving at the cook. The cook come out, take his order. So now there's a line. Literally, there's a line at Domino's in the parking lot going past the store. You're talking about, I think it was like one, let me count. One, two, three. I went to end the lady with three boys, um, black lady and her daughter. Um, Hispanic man, white man, oh, a black man, a lady, a white lady, then another white man. Oh, my God. I think it was about maybe eight to nine customers lined it up 
outside of Domino's and they took all their orders. And then after that, they closed. I mean, they think still waiting on our food. I don't know why it took us so long to get our food, but child, we ain't complaining. I'm gonna tell you what happened. When I tell you that them sandwiches were made extra love, the man said, he told Nathan, it's nice and hot for you. It's real good. And Nathan was like, okay, okay. Man, we've been into them sandwiches. That man put some love up in them sandwiches. They were so freaking, so freaking good. So good. And we was the last customers. We was the last ones to get our food. It made me feel good because what happened was they took people orders since we were the last customers inside while they were still cooking our food because we ordered the sandwiches. They took other people orders who only wanted like cheese pizza or, or something or something that was probably already cooked or done, maybe. And then... After everybody got their order, our food came out. And as our food came out, that was it. The lights went out. And but our food, we you know, you when you when you're the last customer, it's like you kind of make up in your mind you're gonna already accept that the food not probably gonna be that good. And but you happy that you got something. Child, me and Nadine was looking at each other like, oh my god, then I got home and Dream ate. He said, Wow, that sandwich was so good, mom. I said, yeah, and we were the last customers. Domino's took care of us to the end, okay? So, yes, I was very, like, happy about that. I, oof, I tore that sandwich up, but I woke up hungry, you know, um, and I made the macaroni and cheese for the Christmas dinner and made a small one. And I didn't eat anything else. I still stuck to my time. And uh, I had my green smoothie. Which done burnt off all my food. I'm starving. I've been running to um, the restroom, letting out a lot of water. So I'm happy about that. And I got on the scale. And Spirit Girl lost another pound. <laughs> yes. I'm going to let y'all know. When, hold on, Nadine is back. So, okay. Hold, where the keys at? All right. I'll be back, y'all. Yes, I will continue letting y'all know how I'm doing. Rather, I do good or I mess up <laughs> on my journey. And have the best New Year's ever. And thank you for watching the last vlog for 2019. Yes! Bye, y'all. Uh... Today, first thing this morning, a ladybug attached itself to the windshield. Then, on the way home, a different ladybug is on the windshield again. Different colors. I'm like, wow. I love when I see a ladybug. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. The best way to lead 2019. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. And Texas is so pretty today. I don't see um, at least 10 people out here with shorts on. The shortest shorts you can see. I mean, short shorts, short shorts. They out here. It's beautiful, but it's still cold. But the sun is out. It's beaming. It's pretty. And I used to be like, oh, my God, they can't wait. They can't wait to put them shorts on. It's still cold. Now I'm like, yeah, put them shorts on. Bring that heat. Send it and tell the universe to make it hot again. I know that's right. <laughs> Wear those shorts. <laughs>